Okay, everyone, huge developer news. They're introducing experience notifications. So I believe as of February 7th, that these aren't out yet. So there's no documentation about them. You can't actually implement those into your game, but this was just released a day ago. So they're gearing to launch up experience notification. So the idea here is that in your game, you can send users notifications whenever something happens, right? So like your ship is getting attacked, protect your loot, your dragon egg hatched, you won five races this week. You're only one quest away from completing your daily challenge, right? Uh, which seems pretty easy, right? So maybe there's going to be like a new notification service and then you can like send the notification to a certain player ID. So, you know, that, that actually, that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so in the coming days, they're going to give us at like time to actually configure notifications before users have access to them. So they're going to give us the API and everything. Yeah, okay. So at this point, what they're going to do is the follow button on every game is going to re re be replaced with notifications button. So as of before, I'm pretty sure follow button would only tell you uh, when a game was like updated, but now um, it's going to tell you, I think, updates and also notifications. So users will, would have to opt in to actually receive notifications from a game, right? Um, yeah, and then March, they're going to have the full launch um, and then they're going to release some analytics tab, which, you know, if you might find that interesting. Yeah, and so you can set up triggers for when these moments occur. You can customize notifications for each user. Um, yeah, and then you would have to click this on this bell icon, which would turn on notifications for, you know, whatever game that I guess has them. Um, users who currently follow your experience will remain opted in. So anyone who follows your game will be be able to get your notifications, right? And then they're going to add, add a whole like page for settings and everything. Um, and then they're going to allow us to prompt users to turn on notifications within our game experience, whatever. They should make uh, the value proposition notifications even more clear to your users. Okay, so I like this. I like what they're doing here, right? So they're rolling notifications out. They're telling us, okay, you know, this is, because um, it's just better, right? Because you can then remind people like, oh, you have a unclaimed daily wheel or whatever. Um, and I do like how they're gonna give us more options to actually let people know that like, hey, this is a thing. Because I, I bet that once the Roblox releases it, like, they're not going to tell anyone, like, hey, we have notifications, make sure to opt in. Like, they're not going to tell people. They're just going to package it in some, like, little update that nobody really knows about. Like, their phone just automatically downloads the update and that's it. Notification delivery. So, yeah, so this will be delivered to your standard notification tab. Delivery isn't 100% guaranteed. There will be a max of one notification every three days per user. So, yeah, so notifications will start off with this very huge limit where you can only send one every three days, like per, per person, right? Obviously you can send it to multiple people. Um, they're starting with conservative limits. Uh, we may adjust them over time. I bet they will. One notification every three days should be honestly the opposite. I feel like if you opt in to get notifications, why complain about notifications? You know what I mean? Like, I think Roblox should just double down on what counts as a useful notification, right? Like, don't send me a notification of like, Hey, we miss you. Come play the game. Like, no, don't, don't do that. That's annoying. But a notification that's like, Hey, your base is being raided <laughs> or like, Hey, your daily spin wheel is available, right? Those are good, helpful notifications because they actually give you information. They notify you about something important. So I, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think, th I, I think three notifications per day would have been a, like, a lot better. And I think doubling down on what counts as a good notification would be better then one notification, like th that's kind of stupid, but I understand, okay? Yeah, and then you can track notification performance in the analytics dashboard. Um, implementation, so this is how you add the notifications. So first you actually give them the string and some parameters in the creator dashboard. Then you set a call up to their API to send notification when, a, when something is met for a user, as in, if user spin wheel equals true, then send notification, something like that. Um, this process should take anyone between one hour to one day, including testing. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll be, we'll be able to configure and test notifications when they launch the API. Then we'll get the analytics, which will give us all the opted users, impressions, clicks, CTR, turn off, dismiss. Then they'll follow up and then let us know if you have any feedback. Thank you. So this was posted on Dev Forum. Um, so if you want to go check it out, you know, it's right here, devforum.roblox.com. You can just copy this link. Um, I do really like what they're doing here. They're giving developers a lot more control over their games in the sense of like, like reminders, right? Because I guarantee, like I, I guarantee that, that there, there are people who actually, you know, are, are playing a game right now who love it, who could have actually, who, who are able to spend more time on it 
but they just aren't because they just kind of forget about the game, right? But a notification like, hey, your ship is being attacked or uh, your dragon egg hatched. So like, this seems like the most normal notification. Like, you know, something happened, come check it out, right? That like, I, this is what a notification should be. You're one quest away from completing your daily challenge. But yeah, so they're going to release it in the coming days, which can range from either tomorrow to a, to a month. So we'll see. Let's see, what's, let's see what the people have to say about this. Really promising feature. When user join a game through a notification, will, there, will any data be sent along with them so you know why they joined the game and th uh, through which notification? Mm, that, that's actually a really good question. Uh, when a player joins a game, uh, you can actually tell why they joined. So you can tell if a player joined because they just clicked play, if they joined because like a friend invited them, if they joined, I think because like, like you teleported them to a different server. So joining through a notification it should pass through data. And he says like, yeah, so... If, if the user joins my game through a shop notification, I, can, I want to immediately show them the shop. Yeah, um, yeah, hoping enough like this. People are obviously complaining about a <laughs> max limit. Uh, why not give us doc documentation now? I mean, makes sense. You know, they're probably still working on it. One notification every three days is too much. I feel like the limit should be drastically reduced. I can't complain about something that I opted in for exactly. Yeah, so everyone is a little upset. <laughs> um, and people are starting to argue. As always uh but yeah so that's rolling out soon uh comment down below let me know what you think check out my amazing cor courses in the comments or the description i don't know I'll, I'll put i'll put it somewhere maybe both you know if i'm if i'm feeling if i'm feeling a little spicy i'll do both and yeah we are back to basics thank you for watching